here's the thing. Nobody's got it figured out. Nobody's got it figured out. And you're not going to have it figured out. And that used to haunt me like a bad ghost at Halloween. Used to haunt my life and my thoughts and my my actions and processing life. And until it just got to the point, man, you get older and I think maybe I matured out of that or I just couldn't handle the stress of that, of, of trying to perform that way, of trying to live that way, of trying to be that person. I've heard this so many times in my life. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey getting there. And I'm just like you. Like you hear stuff like that and you're like, either BS or you're like, oh, that's a great saying. But that, and, and even though you agree with it, we don't really live it out. I didn't. Like I, I lived in, okay, yes, I know it, it is about the process, but I'm about the destination. Like I got to get here. Financially, I got to have this. Uh, just career wise, I got to be this. I got to, got to, got to. And man, thank you, God Almighty, for getting me out of that. Like now, and maybe it's the older I've gotten, but please hear me out. Please hear me out. Try to process some of your life not as the, de you gotta have goals, you gotta have destinations. I, I get that, but man, focus more on the day to day and, and it is precious. And man, it, it is fleeting and you don't know how much time you have. All that stuff is agreeable. But part of my problem, and maybe yours at times, is I agreed with a lot of wisdom. And just agreeing with it did nothing for me. I could hear somebody speak motivational or spiritual or into my, my faith, my Christianity, and be like, yes, that's awesome. I needed to hear that. Tell them, man, I really appreciate you sharing that. That did nothing. Did nothing until the day-to-day -day actions started changing until the, the slowing down and being like, you know what? Life's a mess. <laughs> Man, is it a mess and it's extremely messy and I am living proof of that just like you are. And sometimes you can't figure what is going on. Like you think my life's going this way and then all of a sudden it's like, am I on the train wreck or what just happened? But now when I look back at that journey, so much stuff that I had to go through makes so much more sense. And I think there is a God, and I think he makes sense of our journey that way. Like, he has done stuff in chapters of my life I would have never done. And, and I still sometimes, there's chapters I look back in my life and be like, why did you do that? Why did you do it that way? But also, there are things that he's done way out of the ordinary in my life that I've been like, I have no clue why you did that, but that got me to this, that met this person, and you changed their life, and now their family is living a different life, and, and man, through that you taught me this. It's just this zig and zag and up and down, and it's like hiking a great trail that you've never been on. Like if you're trying to get to this mountaintop, you can't, like there's so many experiences to get to that mountaintop. You gotta go through some valleys. You gotta go through some snow, some rain, some some awesome beauty in your life. And, and man, I want to encourage you. I don't know where you're at. I have no idea what you're going through. <clears throat> I just want to throw this out there because it's on my mind today is it's not over. It's not over and even if it's messy, if you're hurt, if you're down, just go one more step. Like There is a verse in the Bible that says that this is a lamp into our feet. That those Those old lamps were just small and they could only show one step it was oil and a wick 
Like it wasn't the flashlights that we have today that you could light up a neighborhood and see everything. It was, you could see one step ahead of you. And these shepherds would use this going on these trails. They could have fallen off cliffs or or been hurt. Not, But all they could see is one step. Okay, that's one step I can take. Like I promise you, man, a thousand one steps in a direction is going to get you somewhere. Instead of just being numbed and, and stunned and stopped right in the middle of the process and be like, I got to get there, but I'm scared and there's this and listing all the things that go through our human mind that is some BS that attacks us, like quieting that down. And I wish I would have learned this at a younger age. I didn't. So I'm sharing it to young adults and and with you guys is... There is value in enjoying the process and and realizing the process. It's going somewhere. There's a verse in Philippians that I love. And it says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in me, in you, will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. There's so many verses in the Bible that I've read over in, in the process of reading the Bible, and I just skim over it, and I just keep going. But then there's some days when I, I get back around reading that again that it hits me square in the soul. And that's one of those verses. Like, I, I can hear that, be encouraged by it. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Agree with it. But there's been times in my life when I've been like, I am not confident in what's going on. And this isn't a question. This isn't a, hey, if you want to. This is being confident of this. Be confident of this. Not just know this, not just agree this. Be confident of this. That he who began a good work in you, like God created you for an awesome purpose. An awesome purpose. And he hasn't stopped. No matter how crazy this life looks, no matter how crazy your life has gotten, no matter if you're on the top of the world right now doing all that you want to do, that you're created to do, no matter if you're at the very bottom of that and the worst time that you'll ever have in your whole life, man, he's still working on your behalf for you, still creating a story that is only your story, like all the scars you have in your soul, in your mind, in your past, all the victories and successes of greatness that he's brought through you. It is an amazing, adventurous story that he could tell only through you. Now, the truth is, do you believe that? Like, I'm not here just to, to spout off a bunch of motivating ya ya words that make you feel good I'm trying to give you some true wisdom beginning with the truth you were created for an awesome story for an awesome adventure and within that man some of it is going to absolutely suck I can testify to that but anyway, man, I just I want to encourage you, treat each day, treat each day as if it's golden. Like this is gonna be an adventure. I don't know what it's gonna bring, good or bad, destruction or victory, but it's an adventure and we're gonna take one step and we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm not alone. There's people believing in me, people praying for me. If you don't believe it. Leave a prayer request in the comments. I'll be praying for you. I get up early every morning and pray for young adults by name, for situations. I pray for so many people. Like I call this my war room. I also call it my cigar lounge. And those can go hand in hand. We'll talk about that later. But man, I just, I don't have it all together by any stretch of anyone's imagination. And that's part of me saying this is I'm only speaking out of what's helped me, what's hurt me, to hopefully help you today. 
that at some point, if you, whenever you hear this, that this helps you today, that it shakens you a little bit, wakes you up, and says, yo, it's okay. One more step. Just keep going. Just keep going. Don't stop. Just keep going. Like you are a beautiful, amazing, awesome creation with an amazing story. And think of the volumes of adventurous stories that God has told through his people that he's created since the beginning of time. And you're in that. You're in that. And because I believe that thought in my heart, I'm going to celebrate that today with a New World cigar. Never had this one. Friend hooked me up. And I thought, man, I'll try that. Anyway, don't forget that's Philippians uh, 1.6. Being confident in this. That he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. He's not going to stop when you hit rock bottom. He's not going to stop when you make mistakes. He's not going to stop when you screw up just like I have. And everybody has in our whole life like that's part of of this journey and some people are so focused and even young adults man they're so focused on a guy get my degree got to get my degree got to get a, a job making a hundred grand got to be able to get these things for my my family got to got to got to and, and i'm just like you're missing today you're missing relationships and the adventure of today I'm not saying take away all focus of that. Leave that there, but enjoy today as well. It's got a good draw. Mm. That's kind of fruity. I know that sounds crazy, but just a, a twinge of, of fruit. So, man... It, that's my, my thing, is Philippians. And also, I want to leave you with this. This is something that Seneca said. I love those old dudes. Like, I, I love the Stoics. I love Renaissance men who could do anything. Did you know that, uh, I think it was Leonardo or Michelangelo, I think he did this as a, a party trick, but he could put a pen in both hands and sign, like, I don't know if you've seen those dudes' signature. It's even crazier awesome than the guys who signed the Constitution. Like, it was, like, now half of us can't even do cursive. Maybe my generation was the last generation to do cursive. But he could sign his name both ways at the same time with both hands. Like, Renaissance, like, I love those old type of, men that, that thought things and sought wisdom and lived adventurous and the guys in the Bible and ladies man I'm all about it and the older I get the more I want to dive into it but anyway here's a, a quote by Seneca who was a stoic he said begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life like every day has its own adventure so Instead of skipping a few and getting to the end of the adventure, don't skip the adventure. Like, don't miss out on, on the journey. I know that sounds cliche. It may sound cheesy to you. A lot of the stuff that I'm going to say is, is going to be that because that's, that's what God's created me. I'm kind of cheesy that way. I'm kind of cliche. And my contribution to this world is just going to be my being God's gump, man. Just being God's gump. Which is a lot like the dude in the Bible. One of my favorite guys in the Bible is Agur. And toward the end of Proverbs, I'll talk about him a whole nother time. But anyway... pretty good I like it I like it so I'm going to enjoy this 
and uh, I just wanted to to drop that today and hopefully you, you get something out of it don't forget I, I'm somebody told me man you're supposed to be saying like subscribe or hit the bell or something like that and then leave comments here's all I know is all that stuff helps the channel it helps this get out to more people and that's what we want is to share some just honest wisdom so if, if that's what we got to do then I'm asking you to subscribe and like it and leave some comments below hope y'all have a great day make it great how about that new world